<laughs> oh my god. Okay, they're going everywhere. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Wow. Woo, okay. Don't like the pack. All right. Woo, my lips are on fire. Really, really, really see. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and I'm so excited because I got <laughs> some of the new MAC 24-hour weightless color, kiss-proof, waterproof, transfer-proof, rich matte finish, locked kiss ink, 24-hour lip colors. I chose the shades that I lean towards most. I think I purchased six. Let's see. I purchased one, two, three. Yeah, we have six shades here Ooh. okay first impressions on the actual like carton super cute very retro i'm feeling very valley of the dolls today anyway and i feel like that's the vibe we're getting from the cartons so i thought we would try them for the first time i haven't seen any hype around these but i saw the i got my mac pro email and i was like "Ooh, this sounds like a product that deserves the hype if it delivers. So we're gonna find that out today. We're gonna do some lip swatches and we're gonna see if they are transfer proof. I'm excited. Oh, you know what? It says that there are limited edition. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Wow. I bet they're gonna see like, you know, just like how well they do or something, but it says kiss proof, transfer proof, waterproof, fudge proof, mask friendly, long wearing and transfer proof, 24 hour wear, color true, smudge resistant, cake resistant, settle resistant. So it's not supposed to settle in the fine lines of your lips and they don't bleed, non feathering, non flaking for 24 hours hours. All right, let's go ahead and see. Oh, that's true. What? Wow. Those are some claims. I'm going to wipe off my current lip combo and dive right in. I'm very excited. I hope that these are really, truly hype worthy because if they are legit, like they're saying, and they are mask friendly and all of that, I think we would all enjoy that type of product a lot. All right, we have some fresh lips. Let's start with the lightest shade. This is the shade Teaser. Looks like a warm nude shade. I don't even know what the actual packaging looks like. Oh, okay. So this is the packaging. Looks a little drugstore to me, which is unfortunate because I forgot to say these retail for $33 a piece and they already have two, it looks like they have two and a half stars from two reviews. So don't like the packaging, especially for the price. Let's see if they have a scent. I'm not smelling any scent. Ooh, if this, you know, turns out well, I think I will really like this shade. Here is teaser, really warm kind of camel shade. Okay, let's zoom you in and see where we go from here. The doe applicator, doe foot applicators, very tapered and kind of tilted. Okay, right off the bat, it's not heavy at all. It, you know, it kind of feels like a lighter weight version of Chanel's Rouge inks. Teaser is a pretty good color. Okay, that's a pretty good nude. It's drying down already. It says they're easy to apply. I do agree with that. You can get a lot of precision with this tip. I'm seeing some sheer spots like in the center of my lip. All right. I feel like I'm getting kind of like a plastic scent, but here is teaser. So while this dries down, I want to see why they got two and a half stars from two reviews. So let's check this out. These reviews. Oh, okay. This person gave it a three out of five stars. I'm enjoying wearing the lipstick and not having to reapply it. It was exciting to read that Mac was making a lipstick that was nearly foolproof. I tried Ruby True Color, was disappointed with how orange it looked, although I did get compliments on it. I decided to go with Vixen. It is a beautiful, somewhat lighter shade of purple. On the flip side, I feel like the formula is not 100%. I find the lipsticks definitely matte and sticks on my lips, but it feathers a bit and it comes off the top of my top and bottom lips when I drink, eat, talk, etc. I know advertising can be something else, but again, I was over the moon to try this formula. That's a bad picture. That looks like, mm, that's not an ideal. It looks like a real bad thick liquid lipstick line. Now, I don't know if she ate like, you know, oil and vinegar on a salad to cause that, but I will say this, it definitely, it doesn't feel heavy, but my lips are like, and I this is just swatch one, and I had like my road lip peptide on, so my lips are pretty moisturized right now. And if you can see this, girl, we're getting some lines. 
some lineage. I really like the color though. It feels a little tightening. I really wanted to like this formula. Let's try some other shades. And before we do that, let's see if it's like lip gloss friendly, you know? This is feeling just like a very, f like a featherweight type of liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna apply my Rode Peptide Lip Serum Oil. What is this? Lip treatment. Okay. I mean, it's not breaking up the product. I obviously don't think that that's gonna make it kiss proof, waterproof, whatever, but this looks good with a little bit of hydration to it. Well, that's interesting. No pigmentation came off. It's literally just the peptide treatment. So let's just go on to the next shade and see if it is transfer proof by itself, but wow. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Just the peptide treatments coming off. Okay, maybe there's some hope in this. And I am using the Clio Cosmetics Micro Cleansing Pads. It's a micellar water makeup remover and it is removing the lipstick pretty good. Okay, removed it all the way. So that's good. I don't really like lasting lipsticks that really kind of like lock in too much and then you can't get it off. So that was in T's. Here it is dried down on my hand. You can see where it could kind of pick up a little bit on the lip lines. Now, we're gonna try this shade by itself, no lip treatment, because we obviously saw it was transfer proof even with a lip treatment over it. This is the shade Mischief. It's like a pinky nude. It's shocking, I love nude shades. And here is Mischief next to Teaser. Let's give her a go. Oh wow, this is literally like the shade of my natural lip shade. Like I almost can't really <laughs> see it, which could be good with a lip liner. I feel like you don't have a lot of work time. Once it's applied, it is applied. I don't like this shade. I feel like it deadens my lips a little bit, maybe with a lip liner, you know, to add some dimension, I might really like it. We'll let this dry down. They do dry down pretty quickly. Application on this doesn't seem as splotchy as the shade teaser. Let this dry down. And while this dries down, let's read the other review. The other review is a two out of five, not even a 2.5. The person said, I couldn't wait to get this and apply it as soon as it arrived to see how it performed. Ruby True is pretty, but more orange than blue. It did not transfer, which is great. After wearing it a few hours, I ate a big strawberry and it came off in spots and continued coming off, which is extremely disappointing. And Mac responded. They said, sorry, missed the mark for you, Shelly. This formula works best when applied in a thin single layer. If that helps, I don't know. I could see that. I mean, I this is a really thin layer. So, I mean, if you're gonna eat, you're probably gonna see like a little bit of wear. That's just normal. I personally just don't like how dry it's making my lips look, but I mean, I'm getting a little bit of transfer there, but that could be from the thicker area. I'm really just getting it to where like the, it's coming off of my hand where I, you know, have my lips meet, which would make sense, the saliva. Girl, you're gonna get a little line there if it's a liquid lipstick, but I personally just don't like how I can see every line in my lips. It says that it's like, not supposed to do that, but it definitely does. That's not a perk. <laughs> believe these are gonna get harder to get off as we go as the shades get deeper. And two, we could be having some transfer from having a little bit of makeup remover left over. Ooh, my lips are on fire. We have four more shades to go. The next shade we're going to try is the shade Brazen. This is the one that caught my eye immediately. Maybe the deeper shades will just have a little more impact and a little less drying effect or maybe worse, I don't know. I do like the applicator. I, the packaging to me looks cheap. Okay, immediately I love this. It's orange. We've got orange lemon head LA on. I will say this, you really don't need to keep dipping back into the product to apply. Like there's enough on one dip. Okay, Brazen is really pretty and I do feel like since it's not such a nudie nude shade, we're really not getting the effect that's too bad of like the fine lines showing up. That's what I'm trying to say. Brazen's beautiful. I like this. It doesn't feel thick and heavy like a liquid lipstick, but it does feel drying. But with this type of product, that's really not a surprise. So I'm not like, you know, like, wow, this is just outlandish. It's like almost like a thicker version of a lip stain. That's kind of what I'm getting. All right, let's see. Oh, I forgot. I need to swatch Brazen next to the other gals here. So here is Brazen next to Teaser and Mischief. 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 It's a really nice true orange, honestly. All right, let's see. I'm not seeing any transfer on this. I think that Mischief just, I had a little bit of makeup remover still left over on the center of my lips. I think that's what was happening. Look, I'm pressing, girl. 
it's pretty transfer proof. I feel like this would be a good purchase for like if you had like a special event where you needed your lips to just be on. But for a product like this to be worn day to day, I just don't, I don't think I'm as interested as I thought that I was with this. I mean, my lips obviously hurt because I'm doing swatches, but Raisin's pretty. So far, I'm just thinking that I don't think that these have a necessary, like a place in my makeup routine life. But you know, for people who like a very transfer proof lip product, this is probably one of the better formulas that I've personally tried. So that's kind of nice. So the next one I purchased is 60 Mullet Over and Over. And it is like a deeper peach nude that definitely went lighter. It just looked a little darker in the carton. Ooh, she's pretty. There she is right there. Mullet over and over. Oh, that's a very bright, vibrant light peach. With the darker shades, because there's more pigmentation, you definitely don't need to keep dipping in to the tube, but with these lighter shades, you definitely do. That's actually a really pretty shade of peach. Again, this is mullet over and over. It's really pretty with this look. I just, this, I don't think these are my cup of tea. I really kind of thought they, they would be, but I don't know if I'm just kind of over the liquid. That's not true. There's some liquid, like I still kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, even though they're a bit of a thicker formula. These are definitely more transfer proof than those. They stay tacky for a good, I want to say like a good 20 seconds. I mean, it's, you got to let it sit, but as you're applying, it sets. So that's interesting. Okay, I'm still not getting anything. Still not getting any transferring. So that's cool. I just, again, okay, with the lighter shades, I am noticing that there's some patchiness there for sure. And I feel like Max response to the person that gave the bad review, like it's best applied in a thin layer. Well, that's cool if like it's fully pigmented and you don't need to keep layering it for it to not be patchy, so. I don't know about that. You know, there's only so much you can do. Like, are you supposed to be okay with the patchiness? Probably not. Hoo hoo hoo. The next shade I purchased is Extra Chili. So I loved Max Chili lipstick back in the day. I didn't even care. It kind of like made my lips or my teeth look a little yellow because it was like a very orange undertoned red. It was just like, it's not the most flattering shade of red, but it's such a cool shade of red that it was almost worth it. So here's Extra Chili. Ooh, this is a really pretty shade. And here's Extra Chili. Isn't this a good lineup? I feel like I made some good choices. I wish I really liked the formulation like I thought I would. All right, this definitely has more of a blue undertone than Max Chili lipstick. See right now it's starting to set and I kind of need to correct some areas. And so you're getting that dragging. You know, it's tacky. I know this is like, I messed up my Cupid's bow, but I like this shade. It's really, really pretty. But again, I feel like you can really, really, really see my lip lines with this formula. So that's kind of a bummer. But if you didn't, and this was this transfer proof, so waiting for this to dry down a little bit, this would be such a cool formula. Nothing, nothing. It is transfer proof. Okay, on that one, I definitely got like the center of my lips, but all right, that is extra chilly. She's pretty, but I'm not liking the formula. If like a drier matte lipstick is your thing, which I'm not saying that in like in a bad way, like a dry matte lipstick, because it used to be my thing. I used to really like that type of lipstick. I think you'd love these. Oh, this one's gonna be interesting to get off. Mm -mm -mm. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The next shade I purchased is a brown shade. It is in the shade Posh. Like actually brown. It's gonna look real interesting with this look today. Ooh, this shade would be a really good nude on deeper skin tones. Okay. I will say this, like my lips are pretty red and I feel like each lipstick shade is covering the redness or the other pigmentation that's left over. I think that Posh is definitely the pa most patchy. Ooh, we really did ourselves dirty. <laughs> Like, can I color in the lines? You know what, we're gonna leave it at that because now it's like layering up and it hurts. I like the shade, I think it's beautiful. I would wear a shade like this, you know, on a regular day. It's just the formula is just not there for me. It is not. And this shade Posh is very, very, the most patchy. You'd have to layer this up to get it to be fully pigmented and you're just, I don't know. I missed the mark. I like the idea. I liked the claims, obviously, but 
Definitely gonna return these I for, you know, $33. I think they could have done a lot better formula-wise as well as packaging-wise. I had high hopes. I was very excited about these lipsticks and so excited that I did a dedicated review. So I haven't done something like this in a very long time. I like all the shades that I picked out, everything that I swatched. If you're interested, again, this may be a really great product for you. I will list everything I swatched in order of what I swatched in the info below as well as everything I'm wearing. Yeah, you can just see the lines of on my lips a lot, like a lot, a lot. I'm not a fan, which is unfortunate because again, I really like the shades. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've picked any of these up. And uh, I don't know, are we gonna see a comeback of liquid lipsticks in 2023? I feel like I've seen a couple releases of liquid lipsticks. So who knows, but thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see more dedicated reviews like this to a singular product. I think they're super fun and informative. Again, everything I am wearing and have swatched will be in the info below. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, ah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use every ounce of my road uh, lip treatment after this. I feel like my lips are cracking. Still transfer proof though. All right.